Johnson didn't pick a very opportune moment to bother our general manager last week and demand a contract with Defiant Wrestling. But nonetheless, he's been given an opportunity here. If he can beat Gabriel Kidd, then Gibson will join Defiant. Massive opportunity for Liverpool's number one. The following is a singles match set for one fall. It also has a 20 minute time limit. Coming to the ring at this time, winning tonight at 225 pounds. He says he is Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. Zach Gibson, Liverpool's number one. Long way from home here in Birmingham though. And going to be against a very established member of the Defiant roster, the former internet champion Gabriel Kidd. Two great young British stars here, regardless of whether Gibson gets his way here and gets his contract, this could be a hell of a match. It sure will be, and I don't think that being here in Birmingham, so far away from his home in Liverpool, really affects someone like Zach Gibson. Hey listen, he'll bring Liverpool to you. The Merseyside Brawler, what an opportunity. He could become part of the Defiant Wrestling roster tonight. And winning tonight at 205 pounds, Gabriel Kidd! Well, here comes Gabriel Kidd, but conspicuous by his absence is Prince Amin. And you've got to think Kidd is still going to be a little bit preoccupied here by the, the whereabouts of Amin. Ever since Jörn Simmons carried Prince Amin out of here what, two weeks ago, we, I don't think Kidd has seen Amin. We certainly haven't heard anything from Amin. It's a very... Uh, sinister and disturbing situation. Well, God only knows where I mean is, and I don't mean to be facetious. Turn it off! Oh. Turn it off! I! I am Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson! Defiant Wrestling's number one. Soon to be recognized as the UK's number one. And soon to be recognized as the world's number one. And this, this, is the internet wrestling community. So passionate online. So opinionated on the forums. And so absolutely boring, generic and quiet in person. I'm looking around the room and I'm seeing a lot of bullet club tops. A lot of bullet club tops from a room full of people who are absolutely blagging that they watch New Japan. Absolutely blagging that you subscribe to New Japan. Look at this div. Look at this div. There are only two subscriptions on your bank statement. The WWE Network and Pornhub Premium. How does he know about your internet history? Don't clap. Don't patronize me. Listen, just because after every match you send your five star rating to Big Dave, it does not make you smart. Just because when this div here is doing his intros, you shout one fall. It does not make you smart. What it makes you is a large collection.
collection of absolute bellends. You, 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 no, 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 don't chant that. problem with wrestling. You are the ones pushing this great industry further and further and further into a niche market. And I, I, Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. I am the one who is going to take it back, take it back to the mainstream where we belong. Starting Starting right now with this absolute melt, Gabriel Kid. Back up, lad, back up. You already know this match. When I get on with it, you go and tell him. Well, that's not very nice. jokes and I'll keep on winning matches and I'll keep on making money starting he tried to take kid by surprise finally after that after that soliloquy from Gibson oh Gibson nearly got surprised by Gabriel Kidd opportunity nearly disappeared for Liverpool's number one Zach Gibson don't forget if he can beat Gabriel Kidd he has a spot in the defiant wrestling roster Did you understand a word he said by the way um, ask me tomorrow, ask me tomorrow. I need a little time to understand the Merseyside people a little better. Has been uh, pounded here by Gabriel Kidd outside the ring. Oh, down across that steel barricade, rib cage first goes Zach Gibson. Gibson is thrown here and Kidd to take advantage. Kid! Elbow across the top of the back of Gibson. Sends him crumpling to the floor. Gabriel Kidd doing what everyone here in Birmingham would love to do to Liverpool's number one. And there we go. I'm not going to repeat what they're saying. Uh, Gabriel Kidd clearly the fans' favourite here. Can you blame them after that? A monologue from Zach Gibson. Wait, it's a tirade, wasn't it? Chip on his shoulder and then some. Got some in the eye. Gibson. Don't forget, by the way, Gibson. Hey, 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 come on, come on. Somehow beat the former internet champion here. He will get a defined wrestling contract. Huge, huge. Think about this as well. Gabriel Kidd could be the man to stop that from happening. Please do. Sit through more of those strengths from Gibson. Say what you want about Gibson. He knows how to command that wrestling ring. He knows how the pocket microphone covered by Gibson. It's two count and a kick out. Well, you know, when you've got such a beautiful, harmonious tone, quality to your voice, as Zach Gibson does, why wouldn't you hold the mic? Shut up, close line. Like Gibson. He's told me you didn't understand a word he said. I, I, I still enjoyed it. Enjoyed the noises. It sounded like some of the music that I heard coming out of your car when you pulled up to the arena this afternoon. Why are you watching me arrive, Why were you following me in your car? Gibson. Just, uh, didn't have the advantage against Kid, but Kid is fighting back here. He's jumped right to the kidney, to the side of the rim from Kid. They're in the ropes. The referee's going to try and break it up. Reverse. That close line. Pain searing through the body of young Gabriel Kidd. Zach Gibson looking to take a clear advantage and pull ahead. And pull his way, scratch, bite and claw towards what is really, really a big carrot that Stu Bennett has dangled in front of Liverpool's number one face. And that is a spot on this roster in the fight <laughs> race. Strike to the face, another one. 
One thing that didn't escape my attention though, Bradshaw, is while Zach Gibson was saying his piece, drawing off with the fans here in Birmingham, Gabriel Kidd, did he seem a little distracted to you? He certainly did to me. Well, we've already said why that would be. I mean, we still don't know where Prince Amin is. He's been missing for two weeks. It was Jörn Simmons and passed away in either. Carried him away a couple of weeks ago. All I'm saying is when you have a man like Gibson in front of you, you can't afford to be distracted. Gibson, of course, is a company wrestler outside of Defying Wrestling. In fact, it's a year this week since he took part in that ITV World of Sports special last New Year's Eve. Gibson and Kidd both down now. After that super. Referee Joe Allen asking Gabriel Kidd if he is okay to continue now extending the same a question to Zach Gibson. Quick enough to uh, duck it. Gibson failing to land another strike, and now Kidd is taking advantage of those forearms. But then Gibson to the ropes. Down the Irish whip. Shoulder roll from Gabriel Kidd. The shoulder block takes Warbulls number one down. Gabriel Kidd doesn't look distracted about now. Seems to have got it together. Both feet go up from Gibson. Me speaking too soon. Caught. Variation on the side suplex. Gibson lands face first. Is it enough for the kid? No, it's not. He was a half a second away. And we are very quickly drawing in on the uh, final moments of our last defiant show of 2017. But don't forget, we are here every single Friday at 8 p.m. into 2018. Big year for both these men, Gabriel Kidd and Zach Gibson, looking upwards, possibly towards championships. Oh. ADT from Kidd. He'll hook the leg of Gibson. Again, a kick out. These near falls for both men, getting closer and closer. Exhaustion, perhaps, starting to become a factor, despite the fact that these two young men are both extremely well conditioned. Power of Gabriel Ken. Very, very subtle sometimes, not so there. Kid held on to the ropes, put the brakes on. Kid could have ended up on the ring apron. A big, big night for Gibson in particular, of course. He can't afford to make any mistakes against Gabriel Kid or his future with this company will be non existent. Well, we won't see him in 2018 if he doesn't win. Wouldn't that be a shame? Cover. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Again. Almost like Gibson shot Gabriel Kidd out of a cannon. I'm so surprised that didn't get the one-two. Yeah. Yeah. Try for the Shankly Gates. Gibson will try for the Shankly Gates. Yeah. Trying to hook that arm around of, of Kidd and force the submission. Put away some of the, the best in British wrestling with that Shankly Gates. Gibson. Gibson tripped up, and the crowd enjoyed it. Kid takes advantage. Oh, the running oh, boot, boot. the running boot from from Kid. The cover, Gabriel Kid. What? The light's gone. Are we on? We, we know what that sound is, Bradshaw. Listen very closely. Oh, hang on. The temperature has dropped once again inside the building. What is this? Well, Kid had this one. Well, Kid's distracted now. There's no one there. There's no one there. Gibson takes advantage. Gibson! He took him down, he took him down. He's got oh, trying for the Shankly gate. He took him down by the arm. He's weakened the arm. Into the Shankly gate. The Shankly gate. Oh, no, he got him. He got him. Gibson's your winner. Here is your winner as a result of a submission. Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. Zach Gibson picks up the win against Gabriel Kidd. And we still haven't heard, by the way, from Prince Amin, despite the music of Pastor William Eva.
Nothing happened except that that provided the distraction for Gibson to win and earn his defiant contract. Well, someone else we still haven't heard from tonight, by the way, the Renegade. Oh, they could come from anywhere. Don't remind me of them. Well, uh, there's still a few minutes left here on this week's Defiant Wrestling. Who knows what could happen in those remaining minutes. In the meantime, Gabriel Kidd unsuccessful. Give the assist to the absent pastor, William Eber. 